So what could our approach to pool clay be? For this particular demonstration um, on pool clay, I've decided that I will look at one of his paintings, which is this one here. This one, which is View of Karyun in 1914. And what you have there is the skyline of a town or a village in North Africa, in Tunisia. And you'll see here that uh, you have the actual skyline itself. You have various um, structures, mosques, possibly a church, and lots of domes and also lots of um, crenulations, like you'd get at the top of a castle. Um, and what Paul Clay has done, which is quite typical of his work at this point, is to divide the painting up into sections. So for instance, you have one section here, like one big panel there, another one there, another one there, another one there, and another one there. So he's divided up the picture space into uh, what you could call it a patchwork quilt, but really what he's done is to simplify the geometric forms. Now probably in the view that he was looking at there was lots of detail, but he's reduced the detail down into blocks, into rectangles. And some of the colours are fading into each other, sometimes they overlap. They're not really purely designed um, rectangles or squares as such. And sometimes it's fairly loose, and you can see the paint kind of spills over. And also the line work is kind of sketchy. And again, very, very simplified. He's used brown to, draw, to paint outlines. He's used kind of a, more of a reddish, plum colour and blue. And also he's used yellow and green to, to use for line work. Now, on this particular painting, um, I've sent you a JPEG of this, so I suggest you do have a look at it. You'll see that there's evidence of pencil work, and you can see where he's sketched in some things. But he hasn't been reliant on sketch work, because you can see that uh, if you look between this panel here, this dark blue panel, and this panel, there's no pencil line as such, it's just a block of colour. But now and again you can see underneath, you can see faint traces of pencil. So, what he must have done first, I would imagine, was to sketch out the, um, the view using uh, a pencil, and using it very, very lightly uh, indeed, with the idea of keeping, of keeping the composition really quite simple. So you need to refer to, um, to this particular JPEG if you're going to do this exercise with me. You may decide not to, and that's fine, as long as you pick up the, the main principles. Okay, so this um, JPEG is supplied. Now the idea here is, is that I'm going to draw, um, copy this picture really, uh, using a pencil. I'm going to use a piece of paper, and in my case, I'm using a 5B pencil. That's all. I'm simply going to draw this. Now, when I've drawn this, I'm not going to paint it. But what I am going to do, I'm going to take uh, another picture, which I've also supplied to you, which happens to be a picture of Norwich. And I'm going to draw that picture, that view of Norwich, and apply the same principles that I, pl that I apply to this one. In the end, we'll end up with something new and original, which looks a bit like it was inspired by Paul Clay. So you'll need to refer to your JPEG here. I've actually put uh, the book in front of me, and it's out of shot, so you, you can't actually see it. But I'll just go through the principles. So if you look at the JPEG, you'll understand what I'm talking about. Now the first thing really is to work out where the skyline is. And you can see it kind of goes across and there's a lower skyline on the on the right. So I've got two lines that represent the skyline. And I can see here that he's drawn a, a dome. I'm just doing this in pencil for now. I'm not doing it exactly the same way that he's done it. And there are some windows there. That becomes a tower. 
and then next to that there are two smaller domes and then there's a well the highest thing in the picture which is a tower which has some um, thick blue line at the top so I'll just put that in place and then under that there's a kind of you suddenly step down and go down to a new uh, level there's another dome like that and next to it there's another one then over here there are various other ones and then there's another dome there now I've kind of gone off I've gone slightly off the uh, edge of the paper there but that doesn't really matter for this exercise and you can see here the main thing that I'm trying to get across is with this very very simple composition what Paul Clay often does is to take an existing line like if we look at this dome and tower here he takes a line and he extends it like that and you'll see there's kind of another block there I haven't done this quite accurately and we can also take those lines down as well and you'll see that what he's done is to kind of build patches of colour and we'll come in later on we'll start painting when we come to do the the next picture we'll start painting those those in so it's essentially he's taking vertical structures and extending them upwards so he's dividing up the the picture space and within the town at the bottom there he's divided that up into rectangular spaces and squares uh, as well and I'm just going to greatly simplify this but you can see here that what he's doing is essentially dividing the whole thing into and there are some granulations there just define them very loosely he's dividing the whole structure up into into blocks okay now I hope you've got that I hope you can see that picture there but basically he's extending the lines to make sections and in the end even the sky will be defi will be defined by different colour sections okay so that's quite a simple thing to do really keep the detail very very simple indeed okay we're, we're talking about simplifying the detail almost as though a child has drawn it so the next thing to do is to um, paint the picture now in your case if you want to you could take some watercolors and you could fill this in if you wanted to and you could look at the JPEG and note where the cold colors are where the blues are and note where the warm colors are if we look at the picture here you can see there's some very dominant blue and grays up here and even brown and purple and down here the colors are yellow and orange and a bit, bit of brown I guess it's really quite a sunny day with maybe a dark blue sky okay so that's that's what you would do but I'm not going to do that because what I'm going to do now is to paint a picture of Norwich now to make this exercise meaningful what you'll need to do now is to refer to the JPEG that I have also sent you today and you will see there looking at the the JPEG which I can't I can't actually show you that because I don't have a printout of it um, but if you look on screen and I hope you look at that now could you all please make sure that you open up that picture uh, of Norwich it's the actual JPEG is called Norwich and it's followed by a number okay so have a look